All right, 602 right now. More and more school districts across the country are looking at ways to address mental health in the classroom. Austin ISD says it's not just teaching kids reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's also teaching kids how to deal with their emotions and relationships. Well, a local pediatrician tells us those steps, they can make a really big difference. Candy Rodriguez joins us live with that story. All right, Candy, uh, what are some of the signs and symptoms that parents should be on the lookout for here as kids get back to the classroom? Amanda, Dr. Arthi La with Baylor Scott and White says it's all about those behavioral changes. So really keeping an eye out for whininess, irregular sleeping or eating habits, or if your child is simply becoming more reserved. This is what she says parents need to look out for. Uh, sadly, we are seeing more and more mental health issues in kids. Baylor Scott and White pediatrician Dr. Arthi La says the good news is more teachers and parents are recognizing the signs. Basically, uh, anything outside the normal. In her 20 years as a pediatrician, things have changed. One big factor is social media. And they're learning from their immature peers. They're not learning from adults who have a functioning, uh, you know, frontal lobe. Arthi says social issues could add to the mental health problems students may be facing. Schools on lockdown, uh, you know, weather changes, um, gun violence, uh, immigration issues, ice knocking on your door. Uh, and I think this is traumatizing the kids in very invisible ways. In recent years, she's noticed a spike in anxiety and depression in children. But unlike when we were young, when no one talked about mental health, Arti says at least today those conversations are taking place. Currently, AISD offers therapy for students going through trauma as a result of things like child abuse, sexual assault, or even homicide. The district partners with Vita Clinic to offer more than 40 clinics across campuses with plans to add more. Just last week, AISD approved a $2 million contract to ensure this program is part of the district's long-term plan. Now, to find out if your student's uh, school offers this service, you can visit KXAN.com. There we have a full list. Amanda. Hey, thank you, Candy. Time now is 6.04. The state of Oregon is taking a new approach this year. Students will be allowed to take mental health days, and it won't count against them. School districts will excuse them. Young activists were behind the push to get the bill through lawmakers and the governor. They say they were inspired by last year's movement following the Parkland shooting.